Building dams. Check. Frogs setting lily pads. Check. Woodpeckers wasting their lives. Check. What? How's it going, Woody? Well, it's about two degrees too hot, and I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, I can take care of that. <laughs> Your file shows over 3,000 infections in the last six months, Woody. You're in grave danger of being replaced in the natural order. Replaced? Yes. I have no choice now but to send you to my Woodland Institute for retraining. Bye! So, you're the new kid in school. Did you do your homework? Homework? Who needs homework? Teacher, teacher, the new student doesn't have his homework. But I do. The way you're achieving, Woodrow, perhaps you'll take the place of one particular woodpecker who seems to need more time in school. I don't need more time. I'm ready to get back out there now. Please, Mother Nature, I've learned my lesson. Then you'll have no problem proving that, will you, Woody? Whoever does better in their assignments today will graduate and get the slot. We'll begin with the Woodpecker Basics, Tree Pecking 101. Yeah. Yeah. Woodrow, buddy, what are you doing? I am merely selecting the straightest, tallest trees to peck. Chapter 79. But schmucks. Listen up, listen good. I'm the voice of experience. You gotta peck so many trees a day out there in the real world. There's only one way a woodpecker can ever get that job done. With a woodpecker's friend. <gasps> it's... It's beautiful. What is it? Look at me, Woody. Woodrow, I think this tree's a winner. Would you shut your eyes on that strapping sapling? <laughs> yep, you're a natural, Woodrow. A natural sap. Thanks so much, Woody. <sighs> Why, Woody, you've done an amazing job on this tree. You get an A. <gasps> oh, my. This could be a keeper. Oh, here is a superb sapling. Woodrow gets an F for goofing off. And the unauthorized use of power tools. F for goofing off? Well, it's down to business for this woodpecker. I'll get an A in advanced food gathering. All it takes is knowledge, strategy, and a pizza parlor that delivers. Oh. Fruit of the old pizza tree, Woodrow? <laughs> I don't recall a pizza tree. What are you up to now, Woodpecker? You trying to get me in trouble again? Woodrow, you gotta stop being so suspicious of everything. Do you think Mother Nature would have grown this stuff if she didn't want us to enjoy it? <laughs> I tell you, it's a big, beautiful world out there. I'm just trying to open the pantry door for you. Well... You probably want to wash that down with a delicious sod soda. This stuff is delicious. Why didn't we learn about these in school? Uh, I can open up a whole new world of things you'll never learn in books, Woodrow. A <laughs> hundred pounds of wholesome goodness, Mother Nature. You get an A again, Woody. But it appears Woodrow is nowhere near ready for the outside world. Another F. F stands for food. Thank you. I will have some more. All right, you two. For your final exam, use this lumber to build a proper birdhouse. And you must work together. What? Work with him? Teamwork is an essential part of the natural order. You know that, Woody. <sighs> Handle it, Woody. I'm going to catch a few rays. You're helping me, Buster, because if we don't get this done, I'm going to have to stay here forever. 
I can't be bothered. I already got two Fs. Besides, everything I need is right here. Pizza trees, shod soda, jackhammers. This is your life. I don't care if I ever graduate. <laughs> it's woodpeckers like you that give the rest of us a bad name, Bob. Because there's nothing wrong with a little hard work once in a while. It builds character. And if there's one thing you lack, mister, it's character. Lazy, good-for-nothing woodpecker. Woody, Woodrow, here I come. Yikes, Mother Nature. Why, Woody, it's... it's breathtaking. No thanks to teacher's pet over there. Yes. Well, I'm afraid Woodrow's going to be staying here at the Academy for a while yet. And, uh, what about me? Uh, uh -huh. yes, good. Well, I can see you're ready to leave. Yippee! I'm gonna graduate! Woohoo! Now get out there and work, 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 Woody. Oh, you bet I will, Mother Nature. I never want to have to go to school with him again. Is he gone? All gone. And you were magnificent. It sure wasn't easy acting lazier than Woody Woodpecker. Whoosh. But it worked like a charm. Now for our next two hard cases. <laughs> Welcome to the Woodland Institute for Retraining. Institute. <laughs> <laughs> from my Swedish petunias to bloom. <laughs> oh, yoinky doinky. My bloomers. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with all that noise and the kerplunking all over the yard? We're trying to make a race car, Wooly. For the neighborhood soapbox power derby. A car race? Hmm. Is it for kids only, or can anyone enter? The only rule is the car has to be naturally powered, so you gotta... Yeah, 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 whatever. This is a dream coming true here. Get out of my yard now, you two! Out! What's with him? <laughs> Who cares? Come on, we got work to do. Ooh, all the glory, all the fame of my childhood racing days. Mm. Now I can complete my display with one more first prize ribbon. <laughs> this super slick oil ought to make our racer go fast, Splinter. Yeah, that and a fourth wheel. Mm. Those kids look smarter than I first thought. But Wally Voris knows a trick or two or three or four to get the edge on the competition, you bet. <laughs> Oh, woodpeckers! I have a spare wheel you can have for your little race car. Catch! <laughs> Gee, thanks, Wally. Now, let's just see how fast the competition. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Ugh, no wheel anywhere. Yeah. Looks like we've got competition, Nuthead. <laughs> you call that competition? Better keep our race car secret secret, just in case. The greasy wheel is gonna squeak ahead and win the blue ribbon for me, you bet. <laughs> I better get a closer look at what's in that can. Swamp gas should supercharge our racer real good. Hey, Splinter, what's that smell? It's too yummy to be swamp gas. 
Oh, it's Wally's famous Swedish meatball s'mores. He probably left them out there for us. Mmm, mm. yummy. Mm. Mm. It's too dark. I'll just... No! The big idea? Uh, the, the big idea. I tell you the big idea. I am going to win that race, and so I got to know what you got planned for. <gasps> it's beautiful. Ooh, double overhead water cans. If it. Get out of our garage, Wally! But I will now build a better one! <laughs> yeah, build this! <laughs> I am Wally Forrest, one-time Swedish champion. I have come to regain my former glory. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Congratulations, Splinter and Knothead. You are this year's winners. Look out below! Hiya, buddy. <laughs> I still have no ribbon to fill that last space in my trophy cabinet. <laughs> well, you do now, Wally. Ta-da! <laughs> What's your name and where are you from, tourist? Uh, <laughs> uh Woody Woodpecker, uh, from out of town. Well, uh, guess what? You're our one billionth customer! And you've just won the ultimate Hollywood star treatment! <laughs> Stand right here like I'm taking your picture, Tweaky. Okay. I'm casing the joint behind you. Just stand still. Ah! Hey! Watch where you're going, you gold bricker! You mean this mansion's mine? Really mine? You'll stay here as part of your prize package. And later this afternoon, you'll even get to take a big time Hollywood screen test. Tweaky old chum, ditch the map. We just found our own shortcut to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. I was born to be a Hollywood star. Good day, chum. Yeah! Buzz Buzzard, resident of Bodyguards by Buzz. <laughs> 
Maybe I should hire you to protect me from you. What are you doing in my pool, you nut job? Making the point that you, sir, are vulnerable. Vulnerable to what? Well, as Hollywood's hottest new celebrity, you need protection from, say, your, uh, perchance, uh, crazed autograph hounds. Crazed autograph hounds? Why, yes. I said crazed autograph hounds. Oh, oh, it's the mansion of that famous new star, Hollywoody the Woodpecker. I am a crazy fan. Let Buzz Buzzard's protection racket, I mean service, protect you from this fanatical fan, Mr. Woodpecker. Mr. Woodpecker! Can I have you? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Uh, who knew being a star was so dangerous? And with my special new celebrity offer, I only charge you per life saving. Okay, okay. But I pay you after I've made it safely through my screen test this afternoon. So, those two Hollywood hustlers think I just fell off a turnip truck, do they? We'll see who the real sucker is around here. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Buzzard, I'm going outside for my first TV interview. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Woodpecker. You simply can't go out there. The media pretends like they're giving you a nicety-nice interview, but they are secretly sending one of their popcorn arazzi types in the back way to dig up your private toy. I feel so, so vulnerable, Mr. Buzzard. Do what you must. Okay, Tweaky. All we gotta do is make like I'm chasing you out. Get back here, you snake in the grass! Stay away! Hide me and I'll have bitches! Get back here, you, you little vagrant! Time to give these two their big Hollywood break. Camera, action, lights! Oh, yeah! oh, that Woody Woodpecker! His first day in Hollywood and just look at this wild, wild party! He's putting the tinsel back in Tinseltown with his Hollywood bad boy ways. Do it the way I showed you, Tweaky. It's almost time for his screen test and our payday. Oh, well, but I don't know nothing about being an actor, boss. Pardon my interruption, Mr. Woodpecker, but my sources indicate a disgruntled star is planning to sabotage your screen test. He could be lurking anywhere. <sighs> sabotage my screen test? But why? I am Reginald Linsgorse, Hollywood's most jealous and fading movie star. And you, sir, are about to become Birdseed. <laughs> Have no fear. Bodyguards by Buzz is here. Ready for your screen test, Mr. Oh, 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 oh. They're, uh, helping me with my screen test. Keep this baby rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Jungle, what are you to the rescue? Take one. <laughs> Time to scram. Magnificent stupendous. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate scary movies. You were last, Twiggy. He's just acting. He can't ah! stop us. Come on. Oh, yes. They flee. But can they escape? Ah! Ah! I, Woody Blackbell, will defend my honor. I make you pay for kicking me. Brilliant, Sacco Buffo, Woody, you're gonna be Hollywood's biggest star. Not a money way, you dish rag. Let me out of here. I want to sign you to a seven-year deal worth millions. You'll never stop working in this town. Just come to the studio, and we'll do everything you just did over again, and we'll make it your first motion picture. Woody wins Hollywood! What? Do that all over again? And never stop working? Are you nuts? 
Forget this star stuff. I'd have to be crazy to work this hard every day. No, come back. My career is in your hands. Think of the fame, the adoring fans, the autograph hounds. 